We present the first method to decompose a video in real time into multiple components of light transport to enable photorealistic video editing. We decompose an input video in real time into a reflectance layer and an illumination layer, which is further decomposed into light transport components reflected from various objects in the scene. This enables for the first time global lighting aware editing of videos in real time. Let's look at some of our decomposition results. This sequence exhibits strong and dynamic global lighting effects on the wall and the white shirt. We successfully decompose the blue shirt into the reflectance and the blue color spill into the illumination. The subtle spill from the red cup is also correctly placed in the illumination. This sequence contains strong color spills from the pink umbrella and the green forest. Note the stability of the estimated reflectance on the face and the jacket. The combination of the pink and green color spills on the face are accurately decomposed into the indirect illumination components. This scene shows interesting interreflections between and within the various objects. Our method works even in the presence of strong motion blur, accurately decomposing the illumination on the hand. We show our results on this legacy sequence introduced by Ye and colleagues. We accurately identify the spill from the yellow collar to the child's face and hands. Also note the interreflections within the woolly hat and the shirt. Here we show the stability of our illumination estimation by temporally varying the lighting in a static scene. Note the shadow cast by the orange on the wall for interreflections from the yellow structure and the sweeping interreflections from the red wall. The lighting variation is correctly represented in the illumination layer and not the reflectance. Complex interreflections between the cushion, the leopard and the tablecloth. Our method is able to capture the interreflections and color spills even in this complex geometry. Note that our indirect illumination layers capture the color spills quite well. We now present a thorough qualitative analysis of various components of our method. We show the results of the decomposition on the droid sequence with and without the decomposition sparsity prior. Without the sparsity, the indirect illumination layers are incorrectly flooded. The sparsity prior ensures that the interreflections are concentrated correctly near the source. Here, notice the misclustering due to the strong interreflections. With three simple mouse clicks, the user identifies these regions, for which the underlying reflectance is then automatically computed and the regions are tracked for the rest of the video. Other techniques incorrectly retain the indirect illumination in the reflectance layer. Here we demonstrate the robustness of our temporal region tracking strategy. The user performs a single click on the misclustered region, which is propagated automatically. If the region disappears due to occlusion, the user places another click when the region reappears. The region is then robustly tracked even in the presence of strong motion. Of course, not if the region disappears again. We now analyze our base color refinement. The refined base colors result in a significantly brighter reflectance and more uniform illumination. This prevents the reflectance from leaking into the illumination estimate. The other techniques produce non-uniform illumination while missing shadows. We show the benefits of the base color refinement on a synthetic sequence. Without the refinement, note the inaccurate blue lighting on the statue, the bedpost and the pink cushion. Note that with the refinement, our results are closer to the ground truth decomposition.
We also show that our soft color retinex weight ensures that color spills do not end up in the reflectance. Observe the subtle difference on the wall and the white shirt where the color spill occurs. We analyze the application of spill suppression with our method and compare it to state-of-the-art commercial software. Existing tools cannot suppress the spill for a particular object, in this case the yellow cup. We show results with both default parameters of the software and also with manually tuned parameters. For better visualization, we also mask out the object to accentuate the color spill. We now show some video editing results that show subtle improvements enabled by our approach. Here we will color Kermit the Frog. Note that our indirect illumination layers enable us to consistently recolor the interreflections in the body, the back wall and the hand. We recolor the pink cushion to green, including the correct color spill on the leopard's belly. Other techniques struggle with a strong indirect illumination in the region. All these and more video editing effects are enabled in real time with our method. Thank you.